Hey everyone. <laughs> Sorry, um, it's me, Lovely Evolution. Today is April 1st. Um, I am <clears throat> about three weeks post-op. Um, I had my surgery on March 14th. Um, as far as losing weight, I lost probably about 40 pounds. <clears throat> Everyone's sick of my family, so my throat sounds kind of raspy, but, um, yeah, I mean, I can't believe that I had the surgery. Every time that I think about it, there's some days I'm like, well, not days at a time, but, like, moments where I'm like, did I have the surgery? And then I touch down to where my incision sites are, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I did, because <clears throat> it doesn't feel like you know just walking around it doesn't feel like my stomach was removed but when I swallow food and go to eat <clears throat> so sorry my throat um I could tell obviously I mean I had an egg like maybe a week ago for the first time scrambled egg and I ate like just one egg just it was just one scrambled egg I ate like three-fourths of it I was so full. I was like, turkey dinner full. I was really full. Um, so anyway, my experience with the lighter me was amazing. Dr. Elias Ortiz was amazing. The surgeons that, um, everyone that assisted him that was on his team, the techs, um, the anesthesiologist, he calmed my nerves, let me tell you. Not because of the drugs, because he looked at me and he told me it's going to be okay. And it was. Um, the drivers, Abraham, the coordinator, um, and, um, Eduardo, all of them were really amazing. Um, so, basically, I guess I could just kind of tell you how everything, um, happened. Um, I live in San Diego, so... I didn't have to fly in to meet them, but what I did do is I met them at the San Diego airport at 11 a.m. And then after that, because um, Abraham was picking up other people that obviously didn't. Sorry about that. Um, and so, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So I met them at 11. And we went to cross the border. All was well. Um, and then uh, we went straight to the hospital. Um, as soon as I got into the hospital, which I didn't do as much video as I wanted to because it was just in a blur. And it was going so fast. And... Um, You know, I was on my clear fluids, and I was not <laughs> feeling necessarily 100%. <clears throat> I don't think anyone in my group was. Let me tell you, the ladies that went with me were hilarious. Um, they're just so, fun, so much fun. Um, there are people, along with myself, uh, there's two other ladies that we picked up from the airport that did have the surgery the same day. I was the second one to go in for the surgery, but the other person was already there because she opted to stay the night before and do that. So, um, anyway, so we got in there to the hospital. Um, they unloaded our bags. We didn't have to worry about that. Um, my mother went with me, which was amazing because she pushed me to walk when I really didn't feel like walking because, you know, you go in there, you're like, yeah, I'm going to walk, and I got this gas pain under control. No, I did not want to walk, okay? The only, anyway, that's, I'll get to that. <laughs> um, so, we got in there to, to Hospital Mi Doctor, which is in Tijuana, Mexico, very close to the border. I could see the, where people line up for the border right outside my window. <laughs> um... The cars, I mean. Um, we did a check-in. They took our passports, like our ID and stuff. Um, we got it back right away. They just wanted to, you know, 
um, check us in. Then right away we went to go do our lab work, like our blood work down um, stairs. Um, that went good. Um, I went straight into my room. Um, they had me fill out a form, just an extra form, just saying that I'm getting the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, and they had me write it out, so it's me writing it out. Um, just vertical sleeve gastrectomy, that's it. Um, my arm's getting tired, and I really want to do this video, but, because <clears throat> I haven't updated since pre-op. Um, they gave me a gown to wear... They came in. They did an EKG. Now, <laughs> the EKG that they did, I'm used to, you know, the little sticky things, you know, that they put on your body, on your chest, and your arm, your leg. Okay, so they have these metal clamps, and they clamped my wrists, <laughs> and they clamped my um, ankles. And that's how they did the EKG, and the EKG turned out fine. So I want to say... Um, Within about two hours, I was getting ready for the surgery, and I was able to talk to all of the surgical team. Like I said before, the anesthesiologist, really, he was like, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm nervous as heck, <laughs> just because I've never been put under, and he was like, don't worry. Um, he really calmed me down, so that was good. Um, they gave me the gown and the compression socks, which was so hard to put on my legs. Um, <laughs> um, and then the wheelchair came and got me. And it just happened so fast. I mean, we did all that stuff that I just told you within a matter of an hour and a half to two hours, maybe less, I want to say. And, um, yes, I did uh, speak to the surgeon, to Dr. Elias Ortiz, before he came, uh, before, you know, he did the surgery. Um, he did tell me, he was like, don't worry, it's normal to have gas pain. So I'm like, okay, you know, all right, I have my gas sex strips, you know, <laughs> on hand, ready for that. So I thought I was prepared for that much. Um, I get on the table. And the anesthesiologist and his tech <coughs> pulled the arms up to the table. And um, he was like, if you feel like sleeping, go to sleep. Not, don't worry about it. You're good. And I remember after that just waking up on the table. So nothing over my face. You know that, um, to put me to sleep, I think it was all through the IV, and, um, I woke up, okay, I was yelling, there's like a little overpass where you could, um, if you're walking by, it's like a little window, and you can kind of see in, and my mom said that I look like a dang bulldog, because I was like... I can't feel my chest. My chest hurts. I feel like something's on my chest. And the tech, he's so sweet, but he was like, it's okay. I'm like, no, I can't feel my chest because it was the gas pain. It was not the fact that 85% of my stomach is missing. It was the gas pain. Oh, my gosh. That was the worst pain in my life. Well, no, it's not. There's Well, as far as where my chest is at, that was the worst pain. And, um, then I remember just being in my room. So they must have, like, I must have been knocked out again or something like that. And then I ended up in my room. Um, they, every six hours, they gave me, um, pain meds, um, stuff for anti-nausea. And, um, they were giving me, um, antibiotic, I believe. So, anyway, I was there for about... <clears throat> Sorry, um, two nights. Um, the first day, I gotta tell you, just because of that gas pain, I was like, what, what, why, why did I do this? Um, and I just say, it's just my chest that hurts, my stomach doesn't hurt, the stitches didn't hurt, nothing hurt in my abdominal area, nothing hurt where my stomach was at. 
um, I had a drain in too, and um, which was just like a long, the longest tube that you could imagine where my incisions were at to um, drain where the incisions were, blood and liquid. Um, sorry y'all, my hair is irritating me. So, um, by day two I was doing better. I was sipping on, um, a little bit of water, a Gatorade, barely, doing the ice chips, barely, um, then we ended up going, I think on, I want to say the second day or the third day, I can't, anyway, I know I was at the hospital for two nights, then we went to the Marriott. It was beautiful there. Um, we checked in, and um, I feel like I sound hoarse, like a man, and that's so not. Anyway, and we checked in, um, and it was beautiful. Uh, they provided me with two tamarindo um, popsicles. First, I was against it, but then I realized that was the only thing I could tolerate. So I had like one, maybe the whole time I was there, which was two nights. Um, or actually, no, 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 one night, because I came back at night a day early. Um, soup. They gave me chicken broth. I didn't eat it. Um. Because I had so much chicken broth pre-op that I'm like, no, I don't want chicken broth. I didn't even like the word chicken broth. I'm that type of person where if it gets in my head, I'm not weak-minded, okay? It's just, if I don't like something, I can't. I don't want to hear the word. I don't want to deal with it. It's just gross. Um, anyway, so yeah, I mean, overall, my experience was good. I came back, um... Head, Lord. I came back a day early to be with my three kids. All of them were sick. And um, my recovery at home has not been. It's been okay. But the thing is, is that I've been having to take care of all my kids. <clears throat> and yes, my. Um, they, some of them were at my in-laws, but then when they all came, even just having one around, it was really hard for me, but I was thankful for the help that I had, but <clears throat> you got to do what you got to do, and that's what happened, so when, while they were here, I just took care of them, they're all here now, um, clean, sanitized, I mean, I just have been going since day one, and that you should really let your body rest, recovery is so important, um, but I don't, I didn't really have a chance. I've been walking a little bit here and there, but I mean, I figured I'm getting, I'm burning calories up in my house, cleaning every day, all day long. That's all I do. And hey, <laughs> I can't push myself anymore. Um, then I, you know, feel comfortable to, so anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I lost about 40 pounds. <sighs> But, um, at this point, and every, I did not know about this before, it's called, like, once you reach 35 pounds, you get into, like, the stall, and it's pissing me off. And I know that it's water weight, because I go up a day, in a day, I go up six pounds, down six pounds, and I'm, like, so aggravated. But the inches are coming off, so. That's what I'm going with. Um, but yeah, I mean, to lose between 35 and 40 pounds in less than a month really is amazing to me. Um, and it didn't take a month to put on the weight, so it's not going to take one month to come off. But that's a hell of a good start. And I'm feeling good. You know, I'm trying to get my protein in. I'm trying to get my liquids in. Um, you know, so, sorry, I, 
I was following that up. Um, but what I do recommend is do not take Docolax, the um, laxative or still softener. I did that. It was the most painful crap I've ever gone through. Um, my whole body had chills that would come, and I just felt flushed with fever, and I was shivering, and I was hot, and it was horrible. So don't do that. Um, but other than that, you know. Everything's been good. I'm anxious to get back to um, work. I start work on Thursday and it's Tuesday today. Um, just I miss being out in the community and working and being around, you know, the people I work with and my co-workers and everyone. So I'm anxious for that. Um, I'm sure I'll do fine. Um... I'm on the second phase of food, so it's all puree and stuff, so I blend my food. But other than that, don't really know what else to report. I've tried on clothes, and they're falling off of me. Um, so I need to go do some shopping. Um, I could kind of see it in my face a little bit. Um, yeah. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say. There's a lot of people that have been like me, like, not, like, people question my decision, you know, a lot before. What I want to say about that is, this is my body, okay? I'm going to do with it what I want to. I prayed about it, and I trusted God about it. And all is well. So if you're going through what I went through with either not having the support, which I'm not saying I don't now, but at first it was kind of rocky, I'm not going to lie, from certain people um, and friends and you know, like, oh, why do you want to get the surgery? Because I want to get the surgery. Because this is my decision. So if you're my true friend, you're going to support me. Okay. Um, so if you are, if you're right now in my shoes, I just want to say, you know, do this for you. You know what's best. You know, pray about it. Think about it. Do your research. I did a lot of research. Years worth of research. Years. Not a year, but years. Um... You know, and if you feel like it's right, then do it. This is the best decision, you know, that I could have made for myself. Um, but the reason why I did this is because I gained a lot of weight in my pregnancies. Like, I had some... My first daughter was born 2008. My um, son was born 2009. And my... Baby, baby, she's not, a, well, she's my baby. She was born in 2012, and they're all October babies, so with my first two, I had them literally back to back, um, so a year apart, I mean, and the pregnancies was difficult, you know, and you know what, I'm not going to sit here and say that <clears throat> I blame anyone for my weight gain. But I will say, you got to be careful with who you allow in your life because those people that love drama or love to see you down, those people who are just poison to your life and not help and just, you know, you know who I'm talking about, like what type of people, those people will bring you down. And I was so, like, I, I'm not going to lie, I was in a depression to where I ate. My, I'm an emotional eater. I'm not going to lie. And even when I wasn't eating, like with my son, I was sick. My first trimester of being pregnant with him. So I was, I had really bad morning sickness, but I was throwing up. So the doctor was like, it's just your hormones. You had, you just had a baby three months ago. Now you're pregnant, you know? So I mean... All I can say is just allow the right people in your life. Some people are meant to be around. Some people are just poison. You know, if they bring you down, 
it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And I had to learn that lesson. And I still am learning that lesson. It's hard with my situation. But it's hard, you know, because... It's just hard. I don't want to elaborate in it, but, um, or on it, but anyway, I'm going to update a little bit later, probably in about a week or so, um, but I'm doing good. I'm going to work soon and I'm happy. So thanks for watching. This is Lovely Evolution, <laughs> aka Shayna. You can find me on Facebook, um, and have a blessed day. Bye y'all.